morning friends it is Tuesday today and I'm off work for the next few days so it is time to relax a little bit I haven't vlogged in a few days actually I think the last time I vlogged was when we had people over the other day now as I always say to myself I have no idea how these vlogs are gonna be in which order however we did have some family over from Melbourne my parents and like my aunties were at a christening that's why they all came over it was a really nice visit it's nice catching up with the family they did go home yesterday i dropped them off on my way to work as you know i dropped them off at the airport and uh, yeah they've gone home now so now it's like you know all the cleanings up after people have been here because they slept over here and that's pretty much what i've been doing this morning actually i took chibi for a walk my mum's taking my brother's kids to school these last two weeks in the morning so i'm on walking chippy duties which i don't mind at all because it's our bonding time and i washed my hair this morning and i just kind of straightened it but it's i don't know, i think the air still feels humid like it rained so much the other day it was kind of like four or five in the morning it rained so so heavy i could hear that it was raining but i was you know when you're like kind of still sleeping and the bottom of my car got flooded once again it's not the first time it's happened uh but it wasn't even just me there were so many cars out on the street and even on the other side of the street their cars got flooded so it was like quite there was a lot of flooding happening even people i spoke to at work people like from the south coast their houses got flooded so it was so so terrible uh we were lucky nowhere in the house was flooded but just the bottom of my car so now i'm going through that process again where i had to like drain as much as i could of the water out luckily it was only the passenger side so the back passenger and the passenger and a little bit in the passenger in the back on the right side but my driver's side was okay which to me at least means the water didn't get raised too too high to kind of affect any of the like workings of the car however i've been through this once before and now just talking to one of my neighbors he was like try and park your car a little bit more out towards the street and try and move it and however in this instance it happened overnight so it was kind of hard for me to like a lot of times it just rains and the water doesn't rise like that but anyways i did stop in at the supermarket last night and i got myself like a what are those um anti-moldy air vapor wait I, I wrote it on my phone dehumidifier situations so i've just popped that in the car because i had to drive yesterday and number one my car stinks so bad uh, number two the inside of my car it stays fogged up and it doesn't like unfog due to all the like damp air and, and the like the wetness of the car so i tried to air it as much as i could when i got home from work the other day yesterday as well it's gonna take it probably take a good week so i've got the windows all down at the moment trying to air it out i have got the dehumidifier in there just to like help with the dampness as well and then last time what i did was when it pretty much dried i put a whole bunch of baking soda on the floor and it actually i feel like it helped with the smell at all so if anyone has any tips as well with the smell or things i can do i'm just making sure it doesn't mold because i know mold is dangerous so i'm keeping an eye on that i'm just trying to dry it out as much as i can so that unfortunately is something i'm dealing with at the moment i didn't really have any plans today i was kind of umming and ahhing about whether i should go to the shops um, my mum's not home so chippy's on his own so i kind of like to hang out with him a little bit and usually like my day one of like staying home after like being at work I, it's kind of my rest day i also have so much editing to do with the vlogs so i want to edit two vlogs today if i can so that's what i have on track i'm starving so i want to have some breakfast it's a little bit late it's about oh well, it's 10 o'clock it's not too bad so i want to have some breakfast and i grab some eggs so i'm just thinking my usual like egg sandwich and a coffee i did my favorite coffee my starbucks well it's not so much the starbucks like i don't really care about the brand because i don't when i go to the states i don't really drink starbucks because if you're Aussie, well, most of you are Aussie, uh, no, we're not Starbucks people here. Like, it's it's not the kind of coffee we drink. We like more like cafe style coffees, which is the best. Because I have the machine, I like the creamy vanilla. I like the taste of the vanilla in the coffee. I feel like Aussies, like we do have, like when you go to the cafes, you know, vanillas and caramels and stuff. But it's not as big as it is over like in the US where they love their flavored coffees. They love their iced coffee, I think, more in particular. We're a little bit more in the hot coffee here. 
which is why perhaps maybe we don't flavor it as much. But in saying that, the supermarket is slowly starting to come with flavors. They're still, from what I know, they still don't sell the like sugar-free syrups at the supermarket. You have to get those online, but I reckon they'll get them. I just find buying online sometimes such a hassle. I just rather buy everything while I'm at the supermarket. But in saying that, yeah, I really like the cream vanilla. So these were on sale, they were like two for something. So I grabbed them whilst I was grabbing my dehumidifier thingamajiggy, as well as a whole brand new box of the bicarb soda. I do actually need to do supermarket shopping, but maybe I'll do, I might do it later or tomorrow. We'll see how we go, but we'll try and vlog these next few days as much as we can so let's just get some breakfast happening now actually let's we need to fill up this so you guys usually see me when I do like my b-roll however okay see I don't, I don't really have much coffee left and I was really needing it however this is really nice but the annoying thing is it's got these lines for no reason because everything just falls through so it doesn't actually stay neat and tidy as I'd like it to stay but nevertheless I'm just going to refill it now you guys can see why it looks tidy for now because as soon as I close it they move around but I've got one ready to make a coffee picture up although I think I put it up a little crooked so don't focus too much on it I still have the Easter decorations up because it is not my Easter yet uh, my sandwich my coffee oh my goodness I stuffed up with my coffee I finished my last milk right so I poured it was like more than I should have milk in my cup and then I was like let me just finish it off I always have extras I actually don't have any extra, so I do have to go buy milk. But anyways, so I put my cup in there. As I was filling up the sugar, I turned the coffee on. I forgot to put the coffee pod in the coffee machine. And I went to go put, because sometimes I'm like, because this is a really big cup, and sometimes like I'll just press the little button to get a little bit more coffee. And I went to press the button, and I'm like, why is there no color coming out? And then I look at the coffee pod next to me, and I was like, I forgot to put the coffee in the coffee machine so I was getting milk and hot water so like my milk is already skim milk so it's pretty light as it is but I ended up like just pouring some out and then just reusing like then just using the milk and water to make a coffee because I didn't have extra milk but it still tastes good nevertheless <laughs> I did not attach the attachment on very well. I'm just heading off to the supermarket. Anyways, this thingamajiggy, the thing that holds my camera, I guess it falls off on its own because I usually find it on the floor every now and then. It hasn't been attached, I haven't vlogged from my car in a while, but I figured I'll just let you guys know, update. Literally, I was gonna start editing and then I started watching a few YouTube videos and then I was like, you know what, Stanzi? just go to the supermarket do something productive maybe then I might make something I'll see how I'm feeling I do need to do like work food prep at some stage um, maybe not today I'm just not feeling it today but otherwise just the fact that I have no milk means no coffee <laughs> so therefore I decided I need to go and get some milk and just a few other bits and bobs literally I haven't done like a big shop in a little bit of time I've done like little bits and bobs here and there where I just stop by and get a few things that I need and I'm usually like just stopping by after work and I'm always just wearing like my work uniform which I don't like <laughs> especially my shoes they're not the most comfortable so it just doesn't feel that good oh okay thank you buddy I'm just driving down this tight little that street that only fits one car so it's kind of like usually and that was a big car that let me go first usually the big cars like push and you end up having to wait anyways not that that matters that is the update I have not been doing anything i'm not doing any makeup today we're doing makeup free day today I'm just giving my face a bit of a rest seeing as i have to like wear makeup all the time it's part of my, actually my work requirement but does that bother me no i love makeup I have to go see when the MCO Beauty products go on sale again. Um, I have to see, usually they're on sale somewhere, whether it's Woolies or Big W or Chemist Warehouse. And 
that powder, the Charlotte Tilbury dupe powder, I'm loving it. But I've used it so much that I can see it's starting to like get to the pan bit where I can see it, which means, you know, it's going to run out. And I just saw Bethany did a whole thing about Emco Beauty and now she's promoting it. So, which means people are going to be buying it, which I feel like people are buying it anyway to try stuff. But if they start liking stuff, they'll buy it more and more. The good thing is it's always been on sale. So, I wonder if like if they become quite popular, they then like not don't go on sale anymore you know some brands are like that like once they get pretty popular they kind of stop with the sales as much as they used to and you know i'm a sale girly i feel like we're all sale girlies are we not but all right i'm near the supermarket so i'm gonna like put you guys away once i get there and i'll just show you guys what i got probably nothing too exciting uh, but i'll share them when i get home Okay, I'm back and yes the little thing that I was holding you guys was on the floor when I got back uh, this was I forgot to show you guys the humidifier what is it called moisture absorber thing that I'm keeping in my car um, it was in overnight but I don't think it did that much I was supposed to, you're meant to leave this paper thingy on top and then put this but and then when this all gets like hard and it's no longer like like that it means it's done its job uh, it doesn't smell as bad during the day because the sun's been hitting on it. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. However, I did get some stuff for in the car. By that, I mean just the smelly stuff. So I'm going to leave it in here. Uh, it's It comes like this and you just like pop it in your air vent of your car. And uh, this is out. And seeing as it's going to be smelly, smelly, I may as well put one in there so it can start a little bit smelling nice. This is, comes in a two-pack. You can buy this separately with one cent. And then you can buy the refills in a two-pack. And you know what? I parked like at the end of <laughs> the supermarket. So number one, so I could get a few more steps in. Number two, because then I can actually chat to you guys without feeling like people are watching me. Because the closer you park to the door, the more people are around. And you know me, it's I get embarrassed chatting on my phone. Oh, uh, actually no, you're on my camera, not on my phone. But I don't know how people vlog in public. Like, so, like just as I was walking Chippy this morning at the park, and there's this lady. Like she popped her phone on the bench, and she was doing all this shots of like photos and I was like why can't I be that person who does that like why am I always so embarrassed all right I've got this on oh I can initially smell it it's, it's nice it's like air freshener scent and then it goes from like a one to five I'll pop it in and then actually where's my phone I will show you guys what it looks like in the vent but I'll do it with my phone so that way I don't have to take you guys off the thing and then I usually start it on the like one and then I put, put it on the five when it gets to like not enough being on there. Alrighty, we are now set. Actually, I could have showed you at home because the other one, I usually just take it home with me because I'm always scared it's going to like evaporate into <laughs> thin air when it's left in the car because of the heat. But all right, we are on our way home and I'll share with you guys a couple of things that I've got. I'll be honest with you. I really was not in the mood to shop. I was in there and I was like, what do I need? What do I need? And I was like, I know I need milk. You know, I needed bread. And I said it at the end and I forgot to get myself sliced. I've got, got a couple of days worth. We'll see how we go. But that was another thing I needed. But I'm not getting out again. All right. See you guys at home. Okay, I'm back. I ended up grabbing some paper towel from my parents because... My dad's got heaps of bags downstairs. It reminds me of the COVID days. I was literally just washing my hands now and I was just remembering like back, like we can now not really laugh back, but you know, just re remember those times when we washed our hands so, so, so much. Like before we always washed our hands, but like you just didn't think about it as much. And now I'm like, get home, wash your hands um, immediately. And then I was like, actually, I need paper towel. So anyway, let me show you guys what I ended up getting. They had these new grapes. They're premium seeds. They're autumn crisp, they're called. Now, I'm imagining that these are going to be like crispier to bite because they're called crisp. Let me wash them. I'm going to give it a taste test. Mm-hmm. Mm, they're like an apple crunchy. Mm-hmm. Okay. I really like the texture of those. Like, I love when things are crunchy like that. Like, especially grapes. As soon as they start to soften, I don't love them. 
They were a little bit more expensive than the regular grapes, but I was like, I need to try this. That word crisp sounds so good. I got some of these Galo's pies. They're meant to be like really, really popular pies. I'm pretty sure I've probably tried them. I literally am someone who loves the good old fashioned meat pie. Like not the fancy ones, not the ones with the steak inside. No, the good old fashioned beef pie, just literally just plain old says filled with Australian lean minced beef, which is a pie and how a pie should be. And I like it with tomato sauce. I was gonna have that for lunch. However, my mum had made food, so I'm gonna have that instead. I also got raspberries, because they were on sale, and a couple of bananas, because I just, I only get a few bananas here and there, because I only like my bananas, and if you know me, I like them to be on the verge of green, or really super yellow, and as soon as there's like brown to them, or they go soft, I'm like, no thank you. I just, I don't like the sweetness, but I love things that are sweet. This popcorn thing was on sale, so I just grabbed one. I thought it can stay in the cupboard for when I'm feeling like popcorn. Guess what else was on sale? My new favorite kombucha. Yes, it is kombucha. The pineapple lime one. Uh, this was, I was very excited it was on sale. You know what, my basket was getting too heavy. This uh, this Woolies, you have to like pay for a trolley and I never have a coin. So whatever could fit in my basket. And I had two milks, which is, you know, my milks, uh, which already make the basket heavy. And then I grabbed this and I thought, oh my gosh, my hand is going to fall off. So I probably should have got two, but that's okay. I got one. If I got another day this week, they'll still be on sale. I can get another. Don't laugh at me, but like, I got two different milks. They're both skim milk. Uh, I don't know. I just thought, let's let's give both of these. They're probably made at the same place by the same people for all I know. But I was like, okay. We just, they were like 10 cents difference, really. But uh, I just got two. Actually, I'll pop one in the fridge so it's ready. But does it need to go in the fridge? No. I'll leave it up here. Got a couple of mushrooms. You guys saw my pack. I'll just leave the other one in here somewhere. I don't know if I've tried these, but I got these. They're peppermint. Mint chocolate minty crunch, the Daryl E. Balls. The orange ones are the best, but I figured I like mint, so I grabbed them to try. I got some macadamias. I love macadamias. I just feel they're so, like, nice. Like, when you bite into a macadamia, it's kind of like... I want to say the word creamy, but it's not creamy. But if creamy in a nut makes in any sense at all, it's just... They're just delicious. <laughs> And then, I didn't pay for this, but this was the free magazine they give you. Uh, how nice is this charcuterie board, charcuterie board in the back? Uh, yeah, the free magazine that you get, because I like to go through it. Mind you, I still have the other one on the table here, because I think I was going to make something from there, which I haven't. But I'm just going to go through this one too, uh, now when I'm going to have my lunch, and see if there's anything that I can make. And literally, that's all I got. I, as I said, I forgot my bread, so I'll probably be going back again another day <laughs> this week. Back in my spot. So for lunch, I'm having... Water. <laughs> Water. Uh, I washed some grapes. I'm going to have them for dessert lunch, if that makes sense. And then my mum made some like homemade burek style. It's got cheese and it's still warm, which I'm excited to try because like, I just, oh, I'll show you. It looks like this. I just love pastry stuff with cheese. Like, I love it. So good. 